Good afternoon, guys. It's the first time I've picked up the camera to vlog today. It's after 4 o'clock, and I look like completely washed out right now. That's one, because I am, and two, because we have an extra light on. <laughs> Lauren's laughing at me. Um, because the first light was too stinking dim, and it was blurring the camera. So I finally am catching up on my vlogging. I've uploaded, well, I'm uploading yesterday's right now, so I'll be caught up, and I'll be able to upload this one and be back on schedule, hopefully. Uh, oh, look, I've got my little green nuts goblin ear again. When this headache cat falls down, that's what mom says it looks like. I know I've mentioned that before, but Raj has his Christmas concert tonight with his bands, uh, his beginning band and his intermediate band at the middle school. And percussion ensemble. And his percussion ensemble is doing some pretty fun stuff. Um, you're doing some Christmas stuff with them, right? Nope. What, didn't you get bows for them? Just so they look Christmassy. We're doing oh. uh, some... Plain old stuff, beating on buckets and chairs, and we're we just decorated their sticks just oh. to give them a little something fun. Cool. All right, yeah. He took uh, red, white, and green duct tape, and they were able to decorate their sticks to make them look Christmassy. So, as it has been every year for the past several years, I'm a little down because I really want to be able to go to his concert. I love going to his concerts and just seeing his bands play and seeing him direct his bands. And my cousin that uh, we caught walking home without a trombone on a vlog a couple months back. He's actually, it's his first concert tonight in the beginning band, so, you know, I'm just, uh, it, I get a little bummed when I'm not able to go, but I know it's going to be great. My dad's able to go, thankfully. I'll, um, you know, I'm sure I'll have him record a little bit for me, so at least I can hear, because Raj's just bands are sounding good. I don't know. I mean, y'all that keep coming back to the vlog, even on days when this is literally almost the only background that you see, I really appreciate y'all. Um, I, mean, I know it's not all that exciting, but hopefully at some point during each vlog, there's at least one thing that you can either resonate with or enjoy or laugh at or cry about or whatever. Um, well, I don't want to make you cry, actually. Scratch that. But if you need it therapeutically, sure, I'm all, I'm all for that. I'm, I'm game. It's been a pretty low-key day other than editing and uploading those two vlogs and trying to just... My fatigue... Oh, here's the thing, guys. My fatigue has gotten really bad, and it has directly correlated with starting Midadrin. And it's supposed to have the opposite effect. And my headaches have been getting worse also during the period that I've been taking that. So... And I haven't been lying down after taking it, which is when you usually get the headaches because it spikes your blood pressure. But I'm always, you know, I'm not lying down after taking it. And I think that it's contributing a lot, Raj, I noticed it today. I think it's contributing a lot to my extra headaches and to my passing out spells. I'll remind you that that stuff was happening before your last uh, appointment with Kim. Well, but it's happened a lot more frequently. The passing out has from just sitting up. Like, even here in bed the other night when I just... That wasn't just being tired. I mean, like, that is happening time and time again. It happens during the day. I'll just be here and I'll just, like, lose all strength. I'm just, I'm, and, and I upped my midadin dosage thinking it would help, and it got worse. Yeah. yeah. Well, stop taking it for a couple of days. I'm going to. So, yeah. So, the midadrin I was taking to try to help mitigate some of my POT symptoms... Um, and orthostatic intolerance, and I and I just don't think that it's helping. I think it's contributing to the headaches, even though they were already happening. I think it's contributing even more. I think that it's having the opposite effect, as have most medications that we've tried, well, having the opposite medicines. intended effect. Medicine is supposed to raise your blood pressure. Yeah, that's the last thing you need in your head. Well, it's a vasoconstrictor. Yeah. So it's supposed oh. to keep getting the blood out of your head. But what it does, one of the side effects I read that it can cause, because I was looking up, I'm like, okay, I've got this really um, really specific type of pressure headache that I get now that I that I don't usually get even when I get the extra stuff, and it's the kind of pressure buildup headache that is described in a lot of the uh, midadrine side effects, and and oh oh and the biggie was the heart issues. The day if you start having cardiac issues, and my heart has been going crazy, like fluttering with no reason lately. So guys, yeah, I was discussing that with Raj, but you heard it. Um. I'm not a medical professional, so don't take this as medical advice. I do think, though, that my body, once again, is rebelling against a medication and is having the opposite effect that it is supposed to have. But that's okay, because we learn as we go. And honestly, I, we go back to D.C. in January, and I'm half tempted to just 
let everything that I'm taking, including supplements, run out and not get any refills. And when we get up there in D.C., just start on a clean slate of medications because I feel like my body is just so toxic laden. I mean, like it's just so weighed down with toxins right now from all the chemicals and the medications um, despite detoxing. And they're not having the effects that, they, that, I, that I really need them to. So, I mean, what's the point of taking medications if, one, I don't know what's working. Two, a lot of them I've had opposite reactions to, so we've had to switch them like six times. And I, I don't know why I pulled six out of there, but I've tried many more than six medications over the past eight months or six months since we've been to DC for, since we went to the DC for the first time. Yeah, so I'm chilling here at home. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do tonight while he's gone. Maybe I'll work on a blog post because I haven't been able to write on my blog very much um, in the past several months. Really, this year I haven't been able to write on it much because I haven't been able to sit down and type and think through things. But I am going to try to do that, I think, and post something on my blog because I want to get back into writing for sure. That's all I got for now. And, uh, yeah, I'll take you guys along for the rest of the day. Sorry I picked you up late today, but it's... Like I said, it's been just more of the same, sitting here editing vlogs. Now that I'm caught up, maybe I'll be able to spend it, get energy and use it to do other stuff during the day. All right, guys, time for this guy's Christmas concert. I wanted to show you his outfit because I think he's a hottie. <laughs> Love it. Doesn't look good. I'm zooming on the bow tie. Look at that. Maroon and white bow tie because those are the school colors. And pocket square because he's fancy. He's so fancy. Oh, no. Band director day. Oh man, I screwed it up even. Okay. That's good. It's so thanks for the compliment, but I need to correct you. It's mm -hmm. not my concert. It's the band's concert. Ah, uh, you're correct. I'm sorry, I was wrong in that. It is the concert of the band that he directs, but it is yes, it is the band concert. Thank you for cl clarifying that. Yeah. All right, I turned the camera off, but I just wanted to see your outfit again because I think he looks pretty sharp and snazzy. Okay, guys. Roger's band's concert was awesome and I feel like I was there because dad films like almost every song from something if you're a band so I felt like I was there because I got to watch them all and they sounded great. I'm really excited because I mean, they really did. 
This is mm-hmm. some of the best that I've ever heard his band sound. Um, and I can brag on on that because he's my husband and he does a good job at his job and he's got great kids in his bands. Full so. disclosure, it's the first year that I've had third year players. That is true as well. But we just started. We just started having sixth grade there a couple of years ago. So now yeah. I finally have a true eighth grade band, and I combine it with the seventh grade. And yeah, they work hard. They're good kids. Yeah, they're really good kids. So I was really proud of him tonight, and I was proud of him too. So he stopped to get dinner on his way home, but so he can just sit and enjoy dinner and not have to rush and not have to worry about you know me going to bed earlier or anything. We want to go ahead and do event calendar for the day. Event calendars. Okay, this is what day is this? Eighteen. Is it? Yep. Yes. That's right. Okay. Where is my eighteen? Hmm. Oh, my arm hurts. My arm hurts. Ow. What do we think that is? Mm, maybe a. But that's not that's a gonna be bell. like a polar bear. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. Could be a or polar. Or a, a gorilla. A Christmas gorilla. I, Hey, I got a Christmas strawberry. Um, um uh, uh, Oh, it's Santa's sack of toys. Ah, there you go. Who's got a great it's sack Santa's of toys? Sack got a great of toys. sack of toys. Sorry. Okay. You got a rectangle. I got a rectangle. Yay. Now let's see what it really is. And it is a Santa hat. <gasps> the big red guy's coming. Who wears a red cap on his head? Santa wears a red cap on his head. Head on head, nose that's red. Special night, beard that's white. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Um, Santa Claus. La Finca, chips and salsa. Do, do, okay. do. Gonna eat dinner. All right. Say good night, Rog. Good night, Rog. Mm-hmm. Good night, Kevin. <laughs> we gotta watch that ASAP. Um, that is close to that's a close to Christmas movie. Yes, it is, but that's soon. <laughs> it's yeah. the 18th. So. Oh, we, oh yeah, it's a week before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's time to go. Yup. I was gonna have you bring the Grinch home from school tonight, and I forgot to text you. Got two more days. But you, but you can't forget it. We gotta have, right. have it. Is there anything I can okay. go ahead and bring you? No. No, leave all, I only have this one. I gotcha. just got it before you right. got home. So, enjoy Mother's- your dinner. I'm gonna. I'll bring in the other pull back when I go to bed. Okay, I'm gonna finish listening to that interview. Love you. Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish listening to an interview that I had playing. So, I may sign off for the night. So, in case this is my sign off for the night, I will see you in the next one. Good night.